the GA of IBM Cloud Code Engine, Dijon Managed Database as a Service, and a new way to control your data in the Security and Compliance Center, all on this episode of IBM Cloud Now. What's up, y'all? My name is Ian, and I am back to bring you the latest and greatest news and announcements from IBM Cloud. You guys have heard me talk about IBM Cloud Code Engine in previous episodes, and I'm really excited to announce that the service is now generally available. Code Engine is a fully managed runtime where you can go live in seconds without having to size, deploy, secure, manage, or decommission any underlying infrastructure. Code Engine will take care of scaling your containers, applications, or batch jobs, and you'll only pay for what you actually use. If you don't have an image, Code Engine will build one for you from your Git repo. The build process is automated, and you choose whether to use a Docker file or a cloud native build pack. Best of all, Code Engine gives you a unified user experience, regardless of the type of workloads you deploy. That means you can run your containers, applications, source code, or batch jobs in a single environment, and they all share a secure private network within Code Engine. To learn more about how to get started with IBM Cloud Code Engine, check out the link I've got in the description of this video. Next up, I'm excited to introduce Dijon Managed Desktop as a service on IBM Cloud. Dijon Cloud Desktops deliver high-performing end-user computing environments from 43 IBM Cloud data centers across the globe. Automated deployment of an optimized architecture removes the headache of infrastructure planning, and the turnkey managed service provides worry-free desktops that perform at scale. You can be confident in the solution, too, because layered security keeps your company data secure and protected. These, plus a number of other features that are covered in the blog, mean that Dijon Cloud Desktops are ideal for move to cloud, burst scenarios, backup and disaster recovery, and bulk ads for mergers or acquisitions. To learn more, check out the link below. To wrap things up today, we're taking another step forward in our mission to help you achieve continuous security and compliance by giving you more control over the privacy of your data. Many organizations have to meet policies and controls that ensure that they are abiding by regulatory compliance obligations. With the IBM Cloud Security and Compliance Center, you can ensure that you're meeting the data privacy requirements set by governments and institutions by controlling the location in which your data is stored and processed. When you work with the Security and Compliance Center, data is gathered or generated when your resources are scanned. The data can be configuration data or results data. By default, that data is stored and processed in the United States. But now, if your organization needs to address specific geographical data privacy requirements, you can change the location to either the United Kingdom or the European Union through a simple process in the UI. For more info on the Security and Compliance Center, hit the link below. Thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of IBM Cloud Now. If you're interested in learning more about the topics I've covered, make sure you explore the links in the description of this video. And again, Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on what's going on in the cloud now.